for you. The spell will keep it from wilting. She said you would need it for the journey ahead. Will you speak with her now? I cannot hope to match Minfilia's clarity, of course, but... body for only a moment. Just as I could not save the first from the flood of light, it has become arduous for me to interact with the physical world without assistance. Though I might converse with you for a time, the incorporeal form I assumed on the ship would be incapable of casting even the simplest enchantment. It is in the depths of the ethereal sea, the place to which all life returns, where my influence is greatest. After Menphilia's sacrifice on the first, it was to the sea, here in the source, where I ferried her soul. I wished that gentle spirit to find rest in the world she loved so well. Another who may yet have a part to play, though that will depend on you. Take the flower, walk free, for you are free to go where you wish, to believe what you will. That bloom will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. In darkness, seek joy. Surrender not to sadness, and see beyond despair. Walk free, and bear the light for others to follow. Together, raise it aloft, and let it shine, till the end, blinding and radiant. Already, she seems so far away. Ah, my apologies if I startled you. Ever since we began our descent into Labyrinthos, I had sensed another's will, straining to reach out. Even with my particular talents, though, I was unable to make a connection at first. So weak and tenuous it was. Once I took hold of that wispy thread, imagine my surprise to discover it was Heidelin herself. Needless to say, it seemed wise to learn what we could before letting go. Her answers were more cryptic than I would have liked, but at least she left us with a guide of sorts, that unusual flower. Yes, we are definitely making progress. You can't be serious! We've done nothing wrong! has the forum with us. Obstruction and suppression, apparently. Mistress Baldessian, our records show you facilitated the Scion's entrance into Charlian by claiming them as assistants for your organization. We are aware of your 
investigations. After alerting the major institutions to the presence of potential troublemakers, we received word from an Archean custodian. A group operating under the auspices of the students, skulking about Labyrinthos and engaging in clandestine behavior. Clandestine? We may not have entered Charlie in a silence, but we did naught to conceal our identities. Our only purpose in this city is to seek the truth. I can think of no reason why our actions should warrant the Forum's intervention. It is not our way to discourage the pursuit of knowledge, but the timing of such pursuits must be considered, not to mention their potential impact. With the world in chaos, we, the true caretakers of wisdom, have committed ourselves to an undertaking that demands the utmost discretion. And we will not risk its success by turning a blind eye to disruptive foreign elements in our midst. What then is to be our fate? Will you put us on a ship back to Eorzea? The Forum will convene to examine your case. The results of said inquiry will determine your future in this city. As for your absent companion, he has already been detained. Graha! But why? Is reading a crime now, too? Reading is encouraged, celebrated even. Not, however, of the volumes shelved in the restricted section of the library. Refusing to comply will only make matters worse. Let us instead treat this as an opportunity to open a dialogue with the Forum. Silence is often one's best defense. I would advise against prolonging the proceedings with frivolous discourse. But enough. This is not the place for debate. The Rostra await. 